What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, man. We are here once again with some more Haikyuu Season 2. Ah, yes. Season 2. Yes, so we're getting some real, um, I was it's some practicing sessions in, learn from our mistakes and stuff like that. So I want to see how Hinata and Kageyama is going to evolve during this time, getting the witness get into to um to basically witness what other schools are doing um what they do best they could learn things from them they could um improve on the quick and all of this other stuff that they do so i'm looking forward to that i don't have much to say here in the intro i'm trying to keep my intro short and then i'll do a comprehensive review for y'all so y'all know what's going on on the channel i'm going to be doing um high is going to be out during the week two episodes at a time i don't remember what days i think it's tuesdays and thursdays um going forward i'm going to try to keep that schedule going so i will be pre-recording these and then schedule them to be out tuesday and thursdays um try to record just do a full session on weekends so i don't have to be worrying about doing them in the week because things are getting busy again for me on my end of business so I appreciate y'all for checking these out. Let's not waste any more time. And I will see you guys for the review. Alright, so that was Haikyuu. That was what? Episodes 5 and 6, right? Um, That was awesome. That was awesome. I like to see that kind of stuff you know kind of reminds me of when i was watching ippo and just to see those little training things that they do figuring things <gasps> figuring things out you know what i'm saying and evolving you know as a team they cannot stay the same way if you know um and the thing about kageyama which is he's willing to learn but the, the, the thing about him is this, right? Like, <laughs> his overall attitude can sometimes not be the best. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But he's willing to hear people out. He even, you know, I was surprised that he went to Oikawa and actually asked for for help. And it was very profound what, what I, Oikawa said to him, you know, about leadership. is like, make no mistake, you are not the leader in attacking you get what i'm saying and the thing about it is that like the center is an essential piece of volleyball it's a very essential piece of volleyball but it's the truth you're not the leader when it comes on to attacking because you're not you are just setting up your teammates you are setting up your teammates um you're essential you're important just like a spiker wing spiker whatever you want to call them um blockers importance you know what i'm saying like in attacking you are not in a position of leadership. You are supposed to be providing the help. You get what I'm saying? You are the help. You're basically the help. You know what I'm saying? You know, liberal, you could call him the cleanup guy. He's the cleanup guy. You know what I mean? So when it comes on to this, man, I'm so glad that they touch on so many different elements of learning. Things that, you know, even you know, situations that, you know, and, uh, um, skills that I've applied in business and all of this other stuff, you know, so I see the correlation. I see what they're trying to do w to encourage people in this anime from perspective, you know, the difference of perspective and stuff like that. And I really love Inata's character because he's a character that has that no give up attitude it's like i want this i want to be fighting above the net not as a blind man but as a person with their eyes open and be able to lead to be able to see it you know so this is going to be something different um with kageyama improving on his skill of being able to make it a pinpoint pass but also to also let it float at the same speed so it's kind of like putting a spin on the ball 
um, putting a spin on the ball for it to be able to stop the trajectory, you know, in midair and just drop. It's basically um, a speed float, if you want to call it that. You know what I'm saying? Um, which is something that can be done. It's a damn ball. I've seen over the year uh, years how people has evolved in any given sport that involves a ball and you know what I'm saying? At one point, people never used to curve, you know, football as much as it, as much as you see it so prevalent today. A lot of people wasn't able to do it. It's a skill that was a very unique skill. Now everybody is basically can learn that skill in soccer or, you know what I'm saying? It became the thing because of, you know, bend it like Beckham and all of this other stuff. When people used to, people were doing that long time ago. It just became so popular because of Beckham. You know what I'm saying? It just became so popular. You have all these skillful soccer players, football players that are doing this now. You know what I mean? Um, so you've seen how people, I mean, pretty much there's a lot of quarterbacks that in, you know, in American football that throw the ball a certain way. But some of them, if you know their technique for throwing the ball, you see why they're why they're so good because they do it different. A lot of people they throw the ball differently. They learn the basics, but they have a different spin on how they how they want to control the ball when it's out of their hand. It's it's crazy. You know what I mean? Um, you know you wonder why some people, you know, some people can be very strong in American football and can't throw the football for eighty yards. They can't. And, and somebody who's not as strong as them can throw the ball for 80 yards. And it's throwing an American football is not about arm strength. That's included in it, but it's not entirely about arm strength. It's about technique and how you understand how that ball moves in the air. Just like, just like any other um, sport, whether it be baseball, whether it be basketball, you got to understand you see everybody pretty much everybody has a different kind of jump shot a lot of you you know it's very hard to find two people in the in the nba that shoots the ball the same way it's not easy it's not easy it's so it's so unique you have uh, i don't even know i think it's uh, uh, how many players are in the nba probably about 200 maybe around 200 and something players on you know to in total and I'm pretty sure you probably can't find, you might be able to find two people, maybe even three people that shoot the ball the same way. But it's a very unique thing, a jump shot. It's a very unique thing. So it's awesome to see them trying to, to you know, um, Asahi, you know, practicing, jump serves, um, you know, my other dude practicing his, his, his jump floats. Um so is you know so I definitely looking forward to seeing this team evolve of course man this has been an awesome time with y'all that I'm spending with y'all I see you guys for the next reaction day after tomorrow man you guys are awesome as always don't forget to like the video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section man I love y'all keep doing y'all thing keep watching the videos and Subscribe if you are new to the channel. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.